okay so welcome back in this video i'll be teaching you how to output a decimal number on the screen so probably uh, once you have tried to just invoke or push the offset of the number and called std out right so something like this you have imported the masam 32 rt library and then created the number let's say 52 decimal and then invoke std out on the offset of the number and when you have saved and project console build all when you try to run your code let's say test.exe you were surprised that you got four okay so you got four instead of 52 and you don't know why that happened okay so this is this happens because masam32 interprets things in hex to ascii okay so 52 decimal if you convert that to ascii that is the number four so that's why you get four instead of the number 52 okay so to really get the number 52 or to output the number 52 we need to perform some code before we can output 52 on the screen okay so this is how you do it so first let's again import masam 32 rt and let's create a string decimal okay so string decimal is the buffer where the decimal number will be stored okay so first let's move the number so the number 52 d to eax okay and then let's load the effective address of the string decimal to edi okay then let's create a or procedure called to string okay so this to string procedure will basically do is to repeatedly divide the number to by 10 and then store its digits okay so we do that by first moving 10 to ebx okay so ebx will be our divisor okay and then we will be needing a counter so our counter will be ecx okay? and we are setting ecx to zero by performing the xor operation on itself and then we will be also cleaning the registry edx by performing uh, xor edx edx okay so the remainder will be stored into edx okay so eax will be our dividend ebx will be our divisor and the remainder will be stored to edx that is why we need to clean the registry edx okay next we will be pushing the digit of dx okay so we need to take advantage of our stack and push the contents that we got from the division to the stack okay the next we will be adding one to our counter or we just increase the counter by one okay then we will be checking whether eax is already zero so we do that by performing or eax eax okay if not then we will do the function repeated division again so we will be dividing the number again by 10 then looking at the remainder then testing whether the number is already zero okay so if a repeated division is already done then we need to load our digits okay so we do that by first popping a x so we will be getting back our push digits okay and then we will be performing or al 00110000 binary so what this does is transforms it to ascii okay then we do stos b this will store al into the edi so edi is again the pointer to our buffer okay so we pointed here at leia edi string to decimal and we will do this until all of the digits are loaded so we will loop through the load digits function okay then lastly we will add a terminator so zero to the end of edi okay then we just call return so that we can return to our call function so at this point the buffer string to decimal now contains the, the string 52 okay so let's try our code so let's save project console build all no errors 
and let's run our code so test.exe and as you can see we get 52 here in our console so this is how you convert so this is how you output a number to the console or to the screen and i hope to see you again next time